Welcome to this video showing you how to make a submission to a Turnitin Dropbox. Navigate to the unit and then find the submission Dropbox. It will be indicated with a little red sort of swooping arrow and a piece of paper. If this is the first time you're using a Turnitin Dropbox, you should get a message asking you to accept the Turnitin User Agreement. Select it and choose I agree. Once you've done this, you shouldn't have to do it again and you will then be able to make submissions to the Turnitin Dropboxes in other units. You may find there are different sections to your Turnitin Dropbox. There be up to five parts within a Turnitin Dropbox, each containing a different start and due date. You'll notice the due date at the moment shows that we can submit the paper, however for, for the final submission the due date has not yet been completed and the paper is not allowed to be submitted. Within my draft submission, however, I do have Submit Paper, which I need to click. It will then load this window up. Give it a submission title. And then choose the file you wish to submit. You may do this by just dragging and dropping the correct file into the area. You will then need to check the box that says this work is your own and that you have not plagiarized or copied this work in any way. It may take a few moments for the paper to upload into the Turnitin environment. Once it has, you will see the digital receipt. It shows an extract of your paper to check that it is the correct paper that you are submitting and gives you a Turnitin paper ID. You will then see your submission where you can review the digital receipt, your submission title, paper ID, the time and date it was submitted and the similarity report. By clicking the digital receipt it will break down your report. You are then able to print that for a paper copy if you wish. Clicking the title will take you into the Turnitin document viewer and show you the paper within the Feedback Studio environment. As yet there is no grade as the academic has not yet marked it and no originality report as it is running through the Turnitin databanks to get that full originality report. If you wish to change or amend your document you need to click the submit paper icon again and complete the form with a new submission title, a new file and checking the submission box. The button at the bottom now says resubmission. The first time you make a submission it will take about 20 to 30 minutes for your originality report to be completed. If you're making a resubmission this is considerably longer and can take up to 24 hours for a new similarity report. You're also able to download a copy of your original submission that you're then able to view in Word to check for which paper you have submitted. Thank you very much for watching this particular video.